So hi, this is Lady M, and welcome back to my gameplay of the Stanley Parable. Uh, in the last episode, we had the confusion ending, and we ended up back in Stanley's office. So we stopped there, and this is the same game, same save file. Um, so in case anybody's playing, I did find out something interesting. If you uh, go to your options and your extras, um, you can enable the achievements and saves. Um, they all both started on disabled, and when I enabled it, it actually gave me achievement unlocked achievement. So, yeah. So we saved the game. Um, now we'll go back and we'll resume. So, okay, let's see where it takes us this time. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Whoops. My key got stuck. It's like floating through the air. Okay, now we're back to when the two Stanley doors. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. That's where we were supposed to go before, so let's let's do that. Let's go where we're supposed to go. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Huh. Who moved my desk? Fire the paper guy. I love reading notes on the walls. Get Chris out of the bloom bloom huh broom closet. Okay. Oh, we have a slideshow. Everyone is unique. You most of all. To do synergize. Core value expenditures. Monetize. Free to play. Wow, that's pretty cool. Looks just like a uh, meeting room. Okay. Let's figure out where we're supposed to go now. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. This looks like the staircases you'd find in a hotel building. Wow. This looks different. Look at this office his boss has. Woo! Look at Stepping that! Into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. 2845. 2845. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Oh, we're so lucky, aren't he we? He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Interesting. Oh, look, another elevator. Going down. And we're loading again. So yeah, I'm kind of liking this game. Um, I think it's going to be a little bit different deeper into the every building, time we play. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Okay. 
Where are we Stanley going? walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Really? Hmm. One desk. Oh, button? Push the button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Hey, this looks like the room the we saw before. Find out. Maybe we were up there before? Hmm. Oh, okay. I guess we're gonna go across and look. This is the room we saw before, but we came in up there and it was all lit up. Okay, but we're in the story now. We're doing it the correct way. Or now the monitors okay. jumped to life. Yep. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. Lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Interesting. Hmm, okay. Another button. Push. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Kind of freaky? No. He refused no. to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was Never. unthinkable. That's Wasn't right. It? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Maybe. Okay, now we're. was we? the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad. Or Mind content. control status Walking, offline. Eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Before we push a button, let's see what's up here. Oh my goodness, all kinds of buttons. What are we going to do? Off, on... Hmm, choices, choices, put on. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? I How did! You kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself, is that what you wanted? Control? Maybe. Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, uh -oh. what does that mean? detonators are sent to explode, eliminating the entire complex. Our Nuclear detonators? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is makes things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to what your heart's I desires. What oh, do we this do? This is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this huh. means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment yeah. of solace before you're obliterated. 
All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons oh, endlessly and then die matter. alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing huh. everyone inside, or I let it what burn to a crisp. Do? I have to say this, though. This version of events we has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But oh I'm goodness. sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Oh, really? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow hmm. on trees. Oh, dear me. What's the matter, Stanley? You can't get out. Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen <laughs> to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button. Well, he kind of knows what I'm Everything, doing, doesn't anything, he? Something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One sold? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> hmm. Stanley. Not much time. For quite a oh, he's giving me more time. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To well, I cannot you leave this room. Oh, I can leave this room. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this Aww. room. That's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first. Oh, so I can't leave can't. this room. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. Yep, That's keep setting time. You have left to struggle. Thirty seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life. He keeps the adding to the time. The moment I say, happily ever up. And that's it. Game over. I died. Oh, it never ends. We're reloading again. Well, that's it for this episode. Um, come back again later and we'll start fresh again. Thanks for watching.